for you, Melchior. If the queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. Doomed. You're willing to challenge the queen? Yes, I silently told him this. You've done so much for us. I don't even know your names. You'll find out soon enough. As in 1080. What are you talking about? Bachelors, hurry. Wait, take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the mammon machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. And we get the ruby knife! Is that actually an upgrade? That's all I really care about. Is it gonna be better than the demon edge? He can't even equip it, so the answer is no. Apparently I have to use it as an item in battle. Awesome. Ugh. I should mention there is a, there is a spot on, uh, on Mount Woe, if you so choose. It's by the chest with the barrier. There's the... There's a rubble there. That rubble will appear if you go off screen and come back on however long you want. So if you need to, to do some tech level grinding or tech grinding, uh, that would be the spot to do it. Is your save point still here? It is. I will use it. Okay, all healed and saved and we're ready to move on. Now, unfortunately, I did lose some footage of... Uh, of what happened after here, so this is actually going to be my second take, uh, starting from that just save point right there. Uh, so I might have a little different setup than what I did before. Uh, levels might be a little different. That is the reasoning for that. Uh, 33, 32, 32. Uh, here's what I've got them on right now. Uh, still mostly Mesel Mail, and uh, yeah, I think I picked up all the, all the equipment again. Oh, I switched uh, Vash over to the Power Glove. That is new, and uh, Silver Stud for, for Lamia. Uh, in terms of text, I don't remember where we were, uh, but Vash uh, has learned Confuse. He's on his way to learning Luminaire. Lamia has learned Cure 2, on her way to learning Life 2. Bloon is on his way to learning Area Bomb. He has learned Oozy Punch. Now, I think that's uh, roughly where I was uh, before, but... Just in case that has changed, that is what it is now. Now we're done talking about what happened before. We are moving on. I did not mention this before. But the reason that we had to go that way is because the Skyway that we went the first time, this Skyway right here is, was closed before. But because we have taken down Mount Woe, it has opened up the Skyway again. So now we are free to do the travel that I don't fully understand to be honest with you we can go up to the sky city and instead of just going sideways through the sky city right have one of these pointed level at another at another island so that we can go through it we instead have to go down to earth down to the land where the lambs live and then we have to go over to the next skyway and come back up. I can't say I fully understand why they would do things that way, but that's how they did it. We are free to move on now. And we're back on the surface world, which is icy. Uh, for those of you that uh, didn't understand what I meant by, you know, having a huge flame thing causing an ice world, that is actual science because. Uh, when um, when there's plants and stuff, they absorb heat uh, during the day and release it at night. That keeps things temperate, you know what I mean? Kind of an even temperature, ev more even than it would be without them. That's why in a desert where there are no, uh, there's no vegetation, there are no plants that are really absorbing uh, the, the, uh, the heat during the day, sand doesn't absorb it very well. Uh, at night, it also gets incredibly cold, and that's pretty much what happened uh, on the land down there, because Lavos fell. And it's been over, what, 64 million years? Because it's only 12,000 BC. Uh, let's go into the cave, though. Because we need to head to the palace, we need to talk to the queen. We need to tell Shala that we're back, and that we have rescued Melchior. Hopefully, he's, um... 
Well, hopefully he's, he's just as nice to us now as, as he was in 1000 AD. Uh, that is the future Melchior, obviously, because he doesn't remember us now. So, surely everything will work out for this Melchior in 12,000 BC and he won't be sent away to a different time or anything like that. No. No, of course not. But we have made it, finally, to the Zeal Palace. See, I mean, that was just kind of a long trip that didn't need to be that long. We have done everything here already. The guards are no longer here, so we're just free to run on. Have you always been here? The earth is alive and has changed over the eons from flatlands into mountains, from mountains into oceans. You may find the way. That is, if you could pass eons of time at the Forbidden Palace or the Sun Keep. I don't know what he was trying to say. It was so cryptic, actually. And there is a save point here. Uh, however, since I didn't just save, I don't think I need to do that, especially for for what I think comes next. I <laughs> think I know what comes next. We have an anime pissed off Dalton. Still, dude, what is hanging from your belt? Why is the prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck with guard duty? Ha, ah, there you are. I let the prophet go, knowing he'd mess up sooner or later. But I have no use for you anymore. Your history! And still, I don't know, Dalton's sprite just is weird to me. This is Dalton. He is technically a boss. He is easy as hell. And I will show you that. Um, go Uzi Punch, why not? Uzi Punch! But Ice Sword 2 um, does over 1100 damage. I don't know if you guys uh, saw that before, but that's Confuse combined with Ice, and that's awesome. Iron Orb, it seems to be kind of a counter that he's using. Go ahead, try and attack. If you do that while he says that, you cannot hit him. So let's go for a Heal Beam, and that... Uh, why not go for an Aura Whirl? Why not? I doubt that I'll absolutely need it, but I might as well use it. Go Aura Whirl! It's been a while since we've seen it. It still looks just as weird as you remember. Full heal for everybody! And I believe he is no longer in his invulnerable stage, so let's go for Ice Sword 2 again. He is not a tough fight, like, at all. There we go, another 1200 damage. And he just counters with Iron Orb. What are we doing? Uzi Punch! That's right. Go Uzi Punch. For another 650 damage, and in a... Uh, seriously? He burped on us? He burped on us. That's kind of his death move there. You get a thousand experience points and 30 tech points, 2500 gold! Nice, another level up. We are raking in the levels. I'm going to be immortal! I can't be beaten now! And away he flies! He definitely went away, that's for sure. <gasps> Let's follow him. Surely it'll all work out for the best now. We just blindly follow him into the gate. What the hell? That's the that's the ocean palace. That thing is huge. How the hell did you drain all the water out? Let alone build it. And we've made it to the ocean palace. It looks like. Oh, there is a save point here. I will use it. With that done, we are free to move on. Black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. What? I don't understand. And it's cutscene time. Oh, the villain's cutscene. I like these. Shall I raise the power of the managed machine to its limit? Hmm. Shall I, you dare to disobey me? All right, mother. Oh, what bright splendor. The incredible power of Lavos. That thing is still scary looking to me. Looks like I'm going to have to fight it. It really does. You, mm, Grima, you're still here. Why are you still here, Grima? Nobody likes you. Couldn't, ha couldn't bring Gandalf's staff with me. They took it out the door. 
I know. Apparently nobody got that joke. Whatever. They, they didn't think it was that funny. So I'm moving on. We need to head down here. Now this place. I am not a fan of this place. And I probably don't have the best uh, team to, to take on this place. Uh, but these are the two people that I haven't had screen time for a while. So I'm going to finish this dungeon at least first. And then we can switch party members. Now these are scouters. Since they are yellow. And that's the only logical explanation I have. Since they are yellow, they are only weak to lightning. And, I mean, I really do mean only weak to lightning. Anything else, and it will heal them. It's ridiculous. 460 experience and 16 tech points, 500 gold. Nice. Now, if you don't have... Well, oh, of course you'll have a lightning on one. But look over there, you see some red guys? They're only weak to fire. You notice how I don't have a fire person with me? Oh, ooh, a rune blade. That is uh, actually a really good upgrade for... What am I doing? For Novin. Yeah, we're getting rid of the Masamune. Eh? Uh, which I, I had already done before. But we're definitely getting rid of it now. Up by 25 plus. Plus 4 to magic. I will take that. Take that. Now I'll eventually change his accessory when I bring him back into the party because it's useless now that he doesn't have the Mass Moon A equipped anymore. Let's go up here. Now, if you don't have uh, the element that these guys are weak against, you can only use physical attacks against them, and it takes forever because they're strong against physical attacks. But we do have new enemies. We have Jin and Barghests here. Uh, you want to go for Barghest first. Just go ahead and attack him normally. Also, Fusion with nearby brothers. He does have a counterattack the first time that you hit him, uh, but that's pretty much it, if I remember correctly. And we should be able to take him out. Down he goes. That just leaves the Jin, and the first time that you hit him, it's not going to be very good, but Barga's shield has been destroyed, and so we should be able to do massive damage to him. Well, I guess normal. Ma normal physical damage to him, and down he goes. He has 679 experience, 16 tech points, and 800 gold, and a lapis. And we are free to move on. Let's go this way. And here we find... Uh, we do have a new enemy here, so I will keep this fight in at least a little bit. We have a mage, and I'm just going... Mm, just attack the mage. And I'll take care of the Red Scouts off screen. Because look, it only does 67 damage when I hit the Red Scout. It is not fun. Uh, so I I'll spare you guys me just mashing attack against the Red Scout. So once the mage dies, I'll cut the rest of this out. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I'll see you on the other side. Six attacks. Six attacks for the record is how, how much it takes to get rid of them. We have an Eon Helm in there. I'm still not sure exactly how to say it. I've heard Aeon and Eon before. I go with Eon most of the time. <laughs> Knows myself even going back and forth. We need to put this on Limea because she does still have the lowest defense. And then this time hat can go on Bloon, which now puts him above Vash. They're going to be going back and forth, I assume, uh, between who has the higher defense. But we are done here. I do not like this o Ocean Palace, I'll be honest with you. Uh, if you want to fight those uh, Jin and Bar guests again, feel free to step on that. Uh, there's lots of enemies that you can fight multiple times around here. I'm going to try to avoid any of the repeat fights. Uh, unlike this one, I'm going to take on the Scouters again. And for that battle, we can grab ourselves an Eon Suit. Aeon suit, Eon suit, either way, it's going on Limea because she still has the lowest defense. Let's get that Eon suit on her. Uh, she actually should have been on the Mist Robe this whole time, I think. No, the Load Vest is better. Okay, so up by four to the Eon suit. That Load Vest didn't have anything special on it. No, so I believe Vash can move up to the, yeah, the Load Vest. I didn't sell some of the things that I had. I really should have because now I'm getting confused. Uh, no, he's good. He's good. Okay. We are ready to move on. And I choose this way. There are actually four exits to this place. Um, actually, five exits. Damn it, we've been here. 